Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. I have another video. This is probably going to be a short video. This is for a customer that sent me a month ago, around January 13, a 2004 F-150 Ford Lightning uh, SBT computer. Um, I always said, you know, I have a test fee for the computers and I explain everything to the customers, how the procedures go. I open his computer and this is the old one which as you can see has a bed, Marcus bed. And I'm gonna show you uh, why is Marcus bed. As you can see, I got it completely apart from the case and it's corrosion. Yes, look at that. And on the back and on, on here. I want you guys to see that. I mean, it's just not a slight corrosion. It's on every single component the computer has. Pins are just destroyed on, uh, components from again the corrosion sorry if it, this is not yeah probably is good uh, right there but so this this was a month ago uh, the reason I have this one out is because I want you to see the number this is an XL3F-12A650-AGC and that is for his computer. I guess, uh, I mean, only thing I can say is this is his original computer, right? And I have the VIN number, which the last are 994750. He sent now another computer and uh, he sent me with the same VIN number. I said, did somebody put the VINs on, on the computer? And obviously, no, he said, no. Uh, they tried to do something with the computer and uh, they didn't have communication. I'm like, okay, well, let me see what they did because uh, if they were trying to put a tune or something and they break the computer, there's nothing I will be able to do. Uh, these computers are very, very easy to, to damage. Uh, luckily for him, it's not the case, but we can see that this is uh, showing a 4.6 uh, 2B town car, 2003. Although, if I see here on the computer itself, the sticker that is there, I mean, I didn't get this computer for him. I didn't do anything. So I'm going to, uh, let me move my microscope away. We can put this one here so we can read the numbers. And it's X, uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I have light, but I think that's probably good enough. So I'm going to be reading this one. It says XL3F, XL3F. So that's the same. That's 12A650, 12A650, and then dash AGC. It looks like they are indeed the same. Not sure uh, why is this one for a 4.6. Uh, I guess the calibrations are probably incorrect. Because this is definitely a V8. And just got to be careful because this is on. Uh, again, I had the communication with, um, with IDS. I have the IDS connected again through my connections on this breakout box. And then I have for BCM2 connected to the other laptop that I use. I know it's a lot of stuff going on in here, but that's, that's the easiest way for me. Windows, this other computer uses Windows 11. I updated to Windows 11 and I have come to a problems with some of the software They cannot run a seal on Windows 11. So that's when I have this. All right, so one of the things that I wanna see is, yeah, this, this, is, this is okay. I think that uh, all we need to do, it will be to uh, perform the proper calibration based on the VIN number and then uh, do a patch relearn for him. But yeah, so this is a short video. I want to show him that I indeed did the test and I can do um, a communication on the computer. So I'm going to just, okay, he, this just because of showing that indeed has communication. The last digit of this VIN number are YCB06593. Gonna get close so you can see that's definitely incorrect number. 
and of course on his vehicle he's going to have problems because that's not the correct computer for his car uh, some uh, customers don't uh, get communication completely with the technicians that are working on the car and then don't understand that this is indeed not a computer they put you know the big number they think it's fine and it's not going to work All right but for what we are here i want to see if we can indeed uh, okay that's a complete big number on that computer all right so guys you can see that that is definitely not his uh big number and if i copy that uh, let me see if i can do a copy here uh, yes i can all right let's copy that and let's go over here to the other computer and we're going to go on demand uh shopkey pro 2 right remember it's the same thing we're going to change the vehicle which as you guys can see i was working on but he has to see where the, the pads are and everything so we're going to put that b number here um, control b and we're going to use that and it shows us uh 2004 2004 pickup too okay so let me just do that again control b 2ft let me go back to the other capture all i need is the last file or last six b06593 b06593 so yep so it is it is i don't know why uh the um ids was putting something different in there but no so it is a 5.0 liters uh 2004 pickup so it's it is indeed the same computer it just got the wrong big number but yeah that's what i like to to do this because sometimes when you are using ids it selects uh, uh wrong wrong things so we can uh restart this so let me actually uh, that's not what i want to do let's see if i can and the uh, communication because i don't want to do it here so i guess i can just close it yeah all right, so let's open IDS again. Sorry, guys, I think in the time to do this, but it's part of my testing that I do for the customers. And if you are sending a computer to me, I will be giving you the same treat. And I think that is very important because it's complete transparency. And you can see that indeed I'm working on your computer. All right, so now we're not going to hold that record because it's obviously incorrect. So we're going to delete all sessions. I always do that so I don't have anything from previous sessions, uh, especially with four ideas. All right, so a lot of us, um, we can always, when you're working with four ideas, you can either go to the tick mark on the right side, or uh, let me actually make this a little smaller because it's using too much of the screen right there. Or like, like I said, you can click here or you can just double click here. It will do the same thing. And it's pretty quick uh, communication you'll see in a second it's pretty pretty easy pretty quick so that means the computer is at least communication is, is good uh, so we're going to see it's asking me if this is a town car so we're going to put no i don't know why it's four ideas sending me that and then um uh mitchell uh on the man is saying something else and we can try that same B number with, um, yes, one second, guys. I want to cover my login in here. Right, so if we put that B number, which I probably still have, yeah, it says 2000 for F-150 Lightning. So it's supercharged. Everything is correct. So, yeah, that B number matches his vehicle. So let's see what it's trying to do i guess it's trying to read some other v uh modules to gather the correct information and that's probably what ideas is is, is id in the vehicle wrongly 
I'm gonna try to see if I can manually select it. Ooh, sorry, I'm a little tired, a long week. Um, well, I cannot say a long week, a very hard week, a lot of work. Shop is being really busy, at least this week. Very happy, my feet are very tired. Incorrect calibration program. Hmm. And I think that somebody messed with this computer because the bin number matches something else, but um, I don't know. It's a incorrect calibration program. So uh, again, we can uh, change this calibration and then um, try to um, calibrate this computer and his fats. Again, Joseph, this is your computer. I will be contacting you shortly. All right, guys. Uh, I will not take more of your time. See you next time. Hopefully he accepted, uh, perform the test that I need to do in order to complete calibrate this. And he sent me the clusters and the keys and then I can show you how it's done. All right, guys, talk to you. See you next, see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.